NIH director has said some interesting things. I don't know if y'all remember, uh, but there was a few days before, or was it a day before I had done this segment? Not when it was released, but when I did the segment, the NIH director, it sounded like he basically was assuming that parents parents should wear masks at home in the event their kids are unvaccinated. He clarifies, and this is what he says, and we're going to gonna kind of cover that. NIH director, uh, National Institutes of Health Director Francis Collins issued a tweet to clarify on Tuesday after making remarks during a CNN interview about mask wearing at home to protect unvaccinated kids from COVID-19. Collins said in his statement that it is not necessary to use mask at home, but vaccinated parents in areas of high coronavirus transmission should use mask at public indoor locations to help lower the risk of their unvaccinated children. So don't wear a mask at home. I wouldn't dare suggest that, which he basically did. He did suggest that it just, it kind of the pushback kind of was like, what the fuck? Uh, and, and you can see the tweet right here. And when she says that he says, no need to mask at home. Um, he said vaccinated parents who live in communities with high COVID transmission rates should mask when they go out in public indoor settings. So, to save your unvaccinated kids, which I'll speak on that again here in a little bit. Now, this is what happened during the CNN interview as he covered. He said that recommendations uh, for children below the age of 12 are that they should avoid locations where they uh, contract the illness or they could contract the illness. He mentioned recommendations for masking at schools and said that home people who have unvaccinated kids should be thoughtful about this. And the recommendation is to wear masks there as well. I know that's uncomfortable. I know it seems weird, but it's the best way to protect our kid. So obviously, yeah, that's exactly what he said, to be fair. That's what he said. He said that. <laughs> but I think even from his own the side that he tries to appeal to, or these guys are that generally accept their word for gospel, they were even like, what the fuck? Or they probably were already wearing the crazy people were already wearing masks at home. If you're wearing a mask at home, Jesus Christ. So he did say that. He said that. He absolutely said that. For sure. It's just now he well, he goes back on a clarify. CDC says kids two and older should wear a mask in public venues. I hope I don't have people watching me that are masking their two year olds. I really hope I'm not seeing that. I, I haven't seen it um, to be fair, but I hope, hope y'all aren't doing this, but here's the thing. As we talk about all this stuff from regarding the children and everything who this is supposedly or rather supposed to be geared towards protecting. I would encourage you guys to actually look at the numbers regarding child infection And their bodily response to it. It's almost non-existent. It's, it, it, it's, it's almost non-existent. Even more so hospitalization in, in general. Even more so death. Those are things that are for that demographic. They are the least vulnerable. So the fact that they are doing this, I thought has been a bizarre thing that they would even try to do all of these loops or rather jump, have people jumping through hoops, excuse me, in order to uh, protect, as they say, the people that are least likely to have any reaction at all, rather for that matter, when it comes to COVID. So it's protecting them because they're unvaccinated, right? So what, uh, considering that, because those aren't, that's not, not my opinion. Those are my facts. Those are the facts, not my facts. It's just all the facts. You could even go to the, your, even select the government of your choice, whatever institutions you guys worship, even their institutions uh, refer to that regarding um, hospitalizations and deaths. It's, it's not my opinion with these effects. So why on earth are they doing this for these children? I don't know. Maybe it's because of conditioning. 
I, I'm just throwing it out there. I don't want to be a conspiracy theorist, theorist or anything. I, I'm just saying maybe this has something to do with conditioning because when you look to how they are reacting, you when you look to their recommendations versus what their own fucking data says, this reaction ain't really balanced, if you will. Doesn't quite make a lot of sense. So it's almost as if there's something else at play here. And I think that as someone who wants the truth, you are very well within reason to think if there is something else going on as to why they are focusing so much on these damn kids for a virus that almost doesn't even impact them for the most part. Are there outliers? I shouldn't have to say that. There's outliers to virtually everything. But on the absolute <laughs> average... It's not even fucking close. The threat level is virtually non-existent. They are more likely to die from various amounts of other diseases. But why Why are we doing this? Maybe it has something to do with conditioning. I'm just throwing it out there. You just watched a clip from my podcast for Cannon's sake. Catch us live at 12 p.m. throughout the week over at youtube.com slash youngripper59 and follow us over at odyssey.com slash at youngripper59. If you want to watch the entire video cast after the show is over, just be sure to become a member on the YouTube channel. Of course, the full audio portion of the podcast is available for free on all major digital platforms or just visit forcanonsake.com.